The major changes that I see, the two really big ones that I think are um, impacting the industry, in particular CPG, is first the continued growth and consolidation of the big players. So their growth and their, their capabilities continue to improve which leads CPG companies in order to be able to win, to, to really need to have a unique set of tools to be able to, to deal with these very large and important clients. The next one and the one that will, is by far the biggest impact I've seen in, since I've been in the industry for 40 years is the emergence of e-commerce. In, in the old days, you had to wait for stores to get city approval and to build the brick and mortar, and it could take years to be able to put up, uh, you know, call it a handful of stores. Today, you can have a category like diapers move from 2% of the business to 15% of the business going online in a matter of two, three years. And there's no anything other than warehouses that need to be built, and those are already there. One of the big challenges that companies deal with in terms of how do you deal with these mega retailers who have become far more capable, they've hired their own marketing people, they've hired their own insights people. In many cases, they have loyalty card data uh, that they mind to be able to help them understand their shoppers. A company that can bring those ideas that looks at the total journey, what they're spending in store, what they're spending online, what they're spending with their competitors, and why, that becomes really strong intellectual capital to bring. And it's really all about how do you bring them data to understand how you orchestrate shopping behaviors. And that ends up resulting in larger baskets and more trips. And if you can bring the insights that can bring trips, more trips and more baskets, then all of a sudden you get a seat at the table at these key retailers. So what I find to be the most interesting uh, and capability of BCG is that we don't take a cookie cutter approach um, to our work. The, it, it starts with an understanding that every opportunity is unique and it starts with a funnel in terms of the assessment process. And then from that analysis, begin to formulate the where to play and how to win strategic choices that then get followed up by, okay, now that we understand where we want to play and how we want to win, what are the right strategy structures and capabilities that will enable that? But that work will be different for company A than it is for company B because of the fact that BCG does look at it on a case-by-case -case basis, which I think is uh, really important. And, and again, this is a space where it is moving extremely quickly. And so understanding how you leverage technology in a way that's not overly complex to better enable what you're trying to get done. I think BCG's investment and in understanding that, uh, again, is a huge competitive advantage.